Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you different ways that you could sort the lines of a text file on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So let's say you have a list that you want to sort alphabetically like maybe a list of names. So here I've got a text file that's a list of 100 names and I want to sort it. You would think that there would be some sort of function in TextEdit or some other apps to sort this list. But there's not. But there are many ways to do it. So let's take a look at some of them. First let's select All, Command A, and Command C to copy this list. And let's use Pages to do it. So I'm going to create a new blank document here. and I'm not going to paste the list directly into the body text because I still can't sort it that way in Pages. But I can sort a table. So I'm going to insert a table here. Just a plain table. I'm actually going to click here and bring it down to one column. And then I'm going to select the first cell. I'm going to be careful not to double click and be actually typing in the cell. I just want to select the first cell all by itself and then Command V to paste. And it should paste every name into a different row. So now that I've got that I could go to the column heading here, A, click there, choose Sort and now they're sorted. I still have everything selected. So I can do Command C to copy. Now I'm going to Hide Pages and go back to my text document and now I can replace everything, Command V to paste it in. If you're in rich text format you may instead want to use Edit and Paste and Match Style so that it doesn't paste a table in. Now instead you could use a spreadsheet to do this. So for instance we can go into Numbers here and just create a new document. I could just paste in all of those names here sort that column just like I would in Pages. And now with that still selected I can copy and then I can replace everything here. So it's easy to take your list into Pages or Numbers, sort, and then copy and paste it back where you want it. But what about editing this text file directly? Well you can do that using Terminal because command line apps are pretty good at handling things like alphabetizing. So let's launch Terminal. So now to sort this file let's go to where it's located. So I'm going to do CD to change directory. I'm going to drag and drop this in here and I will delete the name. So I'm just going to go to the folder it's in. So in this case the desktop folder. So now I'm there and I can do sort and the name of the file. And it's going to output all of that to the terminal window. I don't want it there. I want it in a file. So I'm going to modify that and type the name of the file and then do dash O and give it a name for the new file. And now I'll get a new file here and if I open that one up I'll see that sorted alphabetically. Now as it turns out there's a ton of functionality in the sort command. You can do MAN for manual and sort and then you can look at the description for everything it does. So for instance if I wanted to sort in reverse order I could do sort names.txt and then dash R and it will do it in reverse order or dash capital R and it sorts them in random order. I could even do this and do K2 for the second column and then define a column with dash T and then in single quotes a space. So that's going to define this as two columns with a space between each column and then it's going to sort it by the second column. In other words in this case a last name sort. And you can see it's now sorted by last name. Of course it gets a little more complicated if there are some middle names or some last names that are two words and things like that. Now another way to do this with Terminal is to use one of the many text editors inside of Terminal. One that will handle sorting is VIM. So we're going to run VIM and feed it in this text file. So we're going to be editing the text file in this text editor. So now you're actually in an app here. I can use the arrow keys to move the cursor around and edit the text. But all I'm actually going to do is do the colon which takes me to a command line at the bottom and I'm going to run the command sort. And that sorts all of the lines in this file. And now I could do colon again and then do W for write and Q for quit. And now it quits and saves that back out. I won't see the change here in text edit but if I close it and open it up again now you can see it's sorted by name. Now if you Google VIM and sorting options 
you'll see that there's a really deep set of commands there and you can do all sorts of things in VIM if you're handy with code. Now of course you can also get a text editor that's capable of sorting. There are a lot that you can pay for but one that's free that I highly recommend is Cot Editor. You can get that in the Mac App Store. And when you open this up with Cot Editor you can actually sort right here by going to Text, Lines, and then Sort. And you can also use Sort by Pattern. And Sort by Pattern is pretty strong but it doesn't require much coding. So for instance I could say I want to do it by column. I want the delimiter to be Space and the position to be the second column. And then I could set it to Ignore Case and other things. So now it will sort by last name. And finally if you want you can create a shortcut in the new Shortcuts app in Mac OS Monterey to do this. So you want to set it in the Shortcut Settings to use as a Quick Action in the Services menu and receive text input from Quick Actions. And if it doesn't get anything ask for a file. Then get the text from the Shortcut Input. Split the text by new lines so every line becomes a different element in a list. Then you're going to filter that. Now filter is a tricky one because it actually shows up as filter files. It's this one here. But you're not filtering files here. That's okay. It will work for other things. So use filter files and then have it take the input of the split text. And then don't do any filter at all. Just set it to sort by name. And then you use combine to combine the files back into new lines and save the combined text. So now when I run this it's going to prompt me for a file. I'll select Names. And then it's going to prompt me to where to save it. I'll select the desktop. It's going to name it automatically after the beginning of the file. So the first name in there. But you could easily go and change that. If I open it up you can see now I've got a sorted list and I have a handy little shortcut that will do it for me anytime. So there are six different ways to quickly sort a list on your Mac. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.